Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I am so excited to be able to share a huge Dollar Tree haul with you. I have been in and um, shared with you some shop with me's. I hit the jackpot at one specific Dollar Tree of a ton of our collections items from the Michaels store. A ton of craft material and I went a little overboard as you've probably seen if you do follow my shop with me's. My cart was filled to the brim with things. I actually had to really talk myself from buying one of everything. Some wonderful items in this haul, lots of really nice brand named items when it comes to food as well. I also want to say thank you so very much to Top Cashback for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Top Cashback, they are a wonderful online site that saves you money. So easy to sign up for. You just visit the topcashback.com webpage you type in your email, set up a password, and then what it does is it provides you with cash back for buying online. And right now, I think some of us are still shopping a little bit more online than normal. So I definitely recommend if you are shopping for Dollar Tree items and not going out to the store as often, go on topcashback.com, select Dollar Tree. All you have to do is search for it in the search bar. And right now they're giving you back 4%, I think sometimes even 6%, for your purchases and if you're looking for small quantities Dollar Tree right now is set up where you can buy smaller quantities of things so if you're starting to prepare for your I don't want to even mention fall or Christmas then you can start purchasing some of your wreath making material now start stocking up on it start getting a little bit of money back and then you'll pull up that money and there is no minimum payout so if you have one dollar in cash back Top Cashback will pay that out to you. If you have $100, they'll pay it out to you. So it's really wonderful. I've actually myself use it all the time and I think I'm up to about $300 in cashback. It's things I would buy anyways and mostly uh, right now I go on indico.com which is like a book online store but they have some really cute home decor and things like that. So I bought some pillows and decorative items, candles, books. I've even purchased books for the kids. It's crazy the amount of stuff that you can find online, but if you use the talkcashback.com webpage, first type in what you're looking for. It could be Walmart, it could be Amazon. I can give you the normal things that we all know, the regular retailers, but sometimes special retailers that we actually go to are on there as well, and they, they're offering some of them anywhere between four to seven percent. It adds up, trust me, because I was on Guest not too long ago, and when I got paid back, I think it was $40. Well, Top Cashback gave me $40 back for shopping on Guest. I was happy, it paid for, you know, a couple things that I had purchased on sale already to begin with. But yeah, so just wanna let you know, definitely if you visit the uh, description down below, there'll be a link and you are offered for the first $25 if you order things online, Top Cashback will give you $10 as a sign up bonus. So take advantage. Um, and I am so looking forward to sharing, have you guys been into Dollar Tree recently or am I, maybe I'm on a lower frequent basis, but I have to say I've been super lucky and sometimes I felt like I had to go all the time to get lucky, but for some reason I haven't been in as often and I'm still able to score some awesome finds. So I'm going to just bring some things up to share with you. I'm super excited to share them and we'll get right into the haul. First few items I'm going to share are the Triscuits. These are pretty much found along the front end of the stores and they're kind of found in boxes on the floor, not specifically on the shelves. Sometimes if they have room, they've been putting them on the end caps. And I don't know if it's just because our stores were overwhelmed with stock. Normally they are put out in the food aisle or on the end cap, but for this specific, these specific things, they were usually found in boxes kind of in the food aisle or along the front. So there's the Triscuits and they are the tzatziki flavored ones. They're crispy and crunchy and they're really tasty. And then they have the four cheese herb ones by Triscuit as well. So I just, these are really good with cheese and of course a little bit of like a hot sauce spread or something tasty. Then the kids love the vegetable fins. So, so these ones here are a tomato and a sun-dried tomato and basil flavored. And these ones are just the vegetable fins. I would easily pay $2.99 Sometimes they'll go on sale for two for five dollars at a local grocery store and the same with these I don't think I would find them for less than 2.99 Maybe 250 two for five 
but you can't beat the Dollar Tree. Going with a couple little, I didn't buy a ton of summer things to be honest with you, just I cannot believe how fast time is flying. At least the kids are done school and I'm able to just say it is summertime, but I, it's gonna go so fast. My daughter had spotted some cute sun hats, so I had to purchase them and these are great for DIY as well because of the material. You can see the really cute pattern. You can do some boho themed things for sure with it, make a little planter with it or wrap of plastic, um, not a plastic, a glass tall vase or something with it. But anyway, she saw it and she actually saw it as a little sun hat. They're well made. Now be careful if you are picking off of the shelf that the top, somebody hasn't like yanked it or something off of the display. I did notice a couple of them had been torn. So just be mindful of that when you're picking them up. But yeah, there's like a little pink and a little uh, purple. And I think they're the same style. Like they're, they're both round topped head, heads. They're not flat, right? And I got some flip flops for around the house when I'm walking bare, going outside and stuff like that. Sometimes it's just nice to have these really cheapy little flip flops. I wouldn't recommend these for a long walk if you're going to the mall or shopping or anything on hard, like a, a gravel surfaces or a hike or anything because these are good for the beach and for quick in and out of your house. And the reason I say that is because in the past when I've had them, one, I've had them break on me, which really, really sucks if you don't have another pair of shoes on you. And two, these little plastic nibby things, they sometimes are not done. They're really, really hard plastic. Maybe it's just me and they kind of dig, they can dig into your feet and hurt you. Grab the pair of black staple. And then of course they had some really cute ones. Actually they had the cutest ones that said bridesmaids on it. Some had like little lemons and strawberries. A lot of cute prints, but I, has, I just kind of went with the black, you know, and me being so boring. <laughs> I got this one with a little, bit, a little bit of a print. Oh, a couple other summer things I'll get to in a second, but I wanted to share with you these are beautiful crafter square craft fab craft fabric which are wonderful i'm going to just open it and share with you the prints they had the cutest little prints with umbrellas and um, little rain boots i forget exactly some of the other ones i grabbed i was about to buy and then i just i stopped myself and i'm like no just this one is enough i think they would make really cute like if you're making little bags, oh, the sun, a little gift bag, or say for example, you make DIY soaps, right? Or DIY bath bombs, and then you wanted to give, how pretty is this? I mean, you can decoupage with this, you can, you can make a pillow, you can do a lot of things with it. But if you turned in, uh, wrapped like a little square soap with it, and then put a little twine, you know, I'm just giving you a very quick, simple thing and then you wrapped it with some twine if you're a farmer's market vendor or a personal vendor or a Facebook marketplace vendor you can really up your game with just a small little touch like that and it will change the price or the value of your item and I mean if you're already making a great product and you add like a little piece of fabric like that and wrap your soap with it I think you could really increase you know your market price a small little thing that you can make gift bags or wrap some soaps in. or even if you're doing like um diys for christmas as little bath bombs or gifts for someone in the family i'm just playing games with me so it's like i don't know if you can see the clouds rolling in but it's like ready to thunder it's angry out there the wind kind of was picked up and now it just kind of stopped and the sun is creeping through but then there's also these massive dark clouds that are just ready to come right through and rumble and downpour and i don't know because we've been missing it lately it's like a funnel over our area um certain areas are getting downpoured i was driving home from the grocery store the other day and i'm coming through a storm and i get to our neighborhood and there's not even one drop look at this this is crazy weather not even a drop of water on a leaf so anyways sometimes that's what happens and i'm like fading out into the and i have my camera set where i'm not supposed to fade out so i don't know what's happening jot dot labels 350 pieces i buy these for crafts and because i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram sometimes i share with you it's kind of hard to see but they are already pre cut little stickers and I often was making stickers when I do my ink dye samples I like to have a little sample of the actual ink 
sprayed sometimes so that it's like watered or just the natural stamp. So I rub a bit of the stamp across the sticker, a regular white sticker, and then I hole punched it so that I have a little circle to be able to put it on top of my stamp. And um, when I found these, I thought, oh my gosh, make my life a little bit easier. The problem is, now that I'm, I have them at home, um, I see that they're a bit glossy and the paper page that I was using the dot paper the jot paper that Dollar Tree carries that are like the big rectangles is not glossy it's a just a matted paper finish so this a uh, little wood wipe uh, off board and it's just cute it has like this little thing and I thought my daughter might enjoy doing something with it if not you can transform it into a little sign maybe even for fall or Christmas and then I got some nylon cable ties. There's 60 pieces in here and they're not, they're not the large ones. They had different ones. I'm hoping to use these in actual a wreath. So I'll see if that will work for the idea that I had. I found some Vim wipes. I haven't seen the lemon scented one before. They're disinfecting sanitizer wipes. I love, love Vim, the bleached cream stuff to disinfect and clean my sinks and shine my sinks. I even use it in the shower on the shower glass. But this, these are actual just wipes and there's 30 in the pack and they're the, citru the citrus clean. And I was really happy to find them because I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan. I've purchased in the past the green package that Dollar Tree sometimes would get. And when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, finally a lemon scented. I didn't like the scent of that green package. So I'm hoping that <clears throat> these Vim wipes are kind of similar to the Lysol wipes. The canvas placemat, craft decor, just a regular canvasy linen type material. And I, I always like having fabrics on hand, if you guys have noticed. I tend to buy some really neat fabrics and then somehow transform it in with my DIYs over time. The exciting things, I cannot, I'm like kind of holding them off, but then I want to share them. So let's do a little bit. I'll do a couple sneak peeks and then I'll keep sharing some more. So the Recollections ribbon bows, these were hanging actually in the regular craft aisle, not with the end cap filled with all of their goodies. And they just have these, I got two packs because I don't know, I'm not a fantastic bow maker. I can if I really dedicate my time and energy to it, but I sometimes give up on patience when it comes to making bows. And especially these because they have all of the little intricate details, just absolutely gorgeous bows. I couldn't pass them up for the price and we know that these weren't going to be that price at Michael's. So I purchased two of those and I almost regret not buying more. And then to go with my super finds was finding these creative binders. So it comes already in a pre-made binder. I'm going to share with you. It's I, I can't even because these probably were easily $12.99 to $20 at Michael's. So the Blossoms Journal is supposed to be set up with 36 sheets, three rings, elastic closure, and two pockets. Now it comes in this plastic sleeve so it's protected already. It has like a linen finish along the side here as you can see and it is um, printed on a like craft paper with really pretty almost water watercolors. And in the inside, like I just, I can't. There's a pocket here and a pocket at the back. And then it even has the elastic band so that you can pull it. If you take this plastic cover off, then you can pull it and just wrap it around your binder to keep it all enclosed. Now, how gorgeous are all these pieces? I'm gonna flip through it as a, you know, a video overhead, just so you guys can see, I shared some of it through the uh, Dollar Tree walkthrough, but there are so many gorgeous papers and all oh, just, I can't even believe how well stocked this is. Cause you can even use this for scrapbooking paper. You don't have to use this for the journal, but it just already comes fully loaded. I know that many of you in the crafting community when it comes to paper crafts are making mini folio binders and exchanging like tons of goodies and things like that, repurposing the outside of a mini plastic binder like just the vinyl regular ones, um, putting beautiful scrapbook papers and stuff. This one's already kind of done for you, but if you want, you can decoupage this too with a new scrapbook paper, right? Like maybe this doesn't suit the, the style that you're going or the theme that you're going for on the inside you can easily manipulate this. And because it's so sturdy and great quality and even has like the little, you know, metal 
uh, pieces to hold in the binder clasp. It's just, you, you can't, you, I couldn't pass it up. So I definitely am going to be doing that. I think I'd love to set one up and maybe do an exchange with someone else in the community who are who is also creating those or uh, just sending one out as Happy Mail or two as Happy Mail. It's going to take me a long time to make them because that's like a huge project. This is an undertaking. It's way more detailed than the pocket letter and the pocket letters already take me so long. So I can only imagine how long that binder is going to take me. But I also bought these pockets and envelopes and they fit small, the fit, they also fit the small journal. So it comes in a pack like this and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna open it up and share with you what it looks like inside because I'm curious myself and haven't actually gotten to them. So have you guys been paper crafting or DIYing lately? What have, what have you been doing keeping busy or maybe just enjoying the summer? How's the weather your way and, and things like that? So it comes with these little already pre-made little pockets so it'd be wonderful for when you're making that binder folio right and where you want to share uh, journal cards or other pre-made things to send to your little bind like binder exchange partner this one's really pretty because it looks like it's got spilt watercolor on it so it's kind of like a distressed green effect on there if you can see and then these beautiful pockets as well already with a little little spinny thing here ready to attach some string it doesn't come with string but you can easily just attach like a piece of string yourself and then put it oh no you know what you don't need to silly me it's supposed to be where you can just close it like that that's what that's for and then um, this one here as well with a little flap and they already have the punch so it's all hole punched everything is ready to go to load up to make your own again if you're not loving the theme color just you know put some uh, glue on some scrapbook paper and make it your own or just mimic the idea like copy how they've made it how have they made it follow the you know the way that they've created this and use it as a template and you have yourself uh, scrapbook paper probably or even using another piece from the binder itself and turning it into a you know a little envelope or pouch whatever you want to call it so these come with four pieces each and I thought even if I send a blank package, maybe I do a giveaway and I wanted to set something up, I thought oh, I'll do one as like part of the giveaway package and maybe one as part of the Happy Mail package. Oh, I got some Aurora olive breadsticks. My son likes these here. They are 100 grams and I think there's like 12 or so sticks in there. These are really good with prosciutto if you like prosciutto. As you can tell, the box is empty. The kids actually really enjoyed this. Uh, they're the Reese Puffs Peanut Butter Bunnies. And I'm taking, that's why they were at Dollar Tree because it was the spring edition. So it's 326 gram box and it was fun. To be honest with you, I don't even know if they carry this Reese, the Reese Puffs at local grocery stores. And the reason is because I don't normally buy, I do buy Fruit Loops and Corn Flakes, but I don't usually look at the novelty uh, cereal. So when I saw these at Dollar Tree, I thought I'll give it a try. I seem to forget how many things I actually purchased. Like I have a big giant tote here and I think, oh, it's just a few things I have to share with them. And then I end up sitting here and I'm like, oh my gosh. And it was embarrassing. I hadn't been to Dollar Tree in months. And so my welcome back was, it was a serious shopping trip for me. Like my cart was full. I had only brought in my regular small shopping tote. And I even said, to the cashier I said I have to run to the car this is super embarrassing um, and I left my cart kind of parked to the side I said because I need a bigger grocery tote and I have my deluxe 31 like I mean th this thing is massive it fits like probably six grocery bags in it. Spear, a sphere ice mold as soon as I saw this I swiped it up and there were a few of them sitting on the shelf and I immediately saw them as what do you call them molds for making bath bombs with my daughter but when I got home I realized that they actually have a little bit bigger they have a big hole opening on the bottom which is okay because you can I guess sit you would sit it this way like you would use it as a mold like this anyways I'd have to play around with it but I think it'll be fun even to make giant ice ice cubes we'll see has anyone tried them maybe you had the same idea if you have let me know how you've made out two little ones in the family so i 
grabbed a couple packages of these, just the two packages the girls panties and these are uh, size four and so they are definitely way more expensive anywhere else you'd find them they're just the regular sized like a little brief they're just the brief style as you can see here and I'm not going to open them because they are a gift, but these are the patterns and I think they're exactly identical, right? They look identical to me. Super cute. I mean, you cannot go wrong. I don't know if anyone's spotted these or a different novelty line, a different design, maybe a more neutral or a boy's theme, but the little Shopkins, I, I don't think you can really go wrong. They're just fun. There's little cupcakes usually on them. They all have little faces, cupcakes and muffins and all sorts of uh, little rainbows and things like that. Inflatable decor. So I was going through, I always go through the spring or summer, actually it's more the summer line this time of year, because I always add something to the, my little kit for decorating for birthdays so for birthdays I usually inflate a bunch of things or I have like a whole bunch of stuff decorated in the kitchen and over the last few years I've added like the flamingo and the palm tree and so this year I thought I'd add the pineapple to their their decor for the kitchen when they wake up in the morning what I'm talking about I don't even know if I just explained myself or not uh, I always decorate the kitchen the night before someone's birthday in the house my husband or the kids and then the morning when they wake up I sometimes I'm up by like 12, 1, 2 in the morning blowing up balloons, but this is the way I am. And you have to go extra, right? So then once everyone has gone to bed, I usually go to the kitchen and I decorate. So then it's a surprise in the morning. They all look forward to it. <laughs> it's become a thing. Um, but when they walk down, they usually see what I've done. So I always add something special. So it kind of gets a little more, uh, it gets, it's, you know, a surprise in I always change it up but also add stuff to it so anyways I've shared on the channel how I've done one setup one year I think we were going away to Florida that year so for my daughter's birthday I kind of surprised her with like a beach beach theme and I had like the Hawaiian um, little staging and the tiki stuff anyways I made it cute but there's a the pineapple so my point is that there's this one here that's like a plastic actual plastic print and then there was one that was a uh, inflatable like a look like helium balloon but it was foiled I wasn't really sure about how its longevity would be I like these plastic ones because I can blow it up deflate it put it away and inflate it again so I wasn't sure how that foil one was going to hold up because I know I've purchased the foil balloons and unfortunately I have not had much luck deflating them and putting them away so I was afraid to just risk it and then have not something that would last me a long time my thing is if I'm going to use things to decorate I like them to last a long time because I also I'm not um, one to I don't really love balloons to be honest because then you have to pop them and get rid of them and put them in the garbage and I feel like that's really I'm more of an environmental thing for me so I rather have these things for like you know I've had a few things for 10 plus years and I just keep kind of reusing them or adding a little piece here and there and I just feel better maybe I'm just a little bit off off the charts when it comes that, to that stuff I know I bought two packages of these so I'm gonna have to look it must have fallen into the bottom of the bag the metal tags and oh my gosh when I saw them I freaked out so there's three of this shape here and I think there were a different shape where it was more straight and I honestly had bought some metal last year with the intention to make a really cute Christmas thing and I never did it because that meant I had to cut up the bigger metal piece that I had bought at Dollar Tree and because it was bigger and it was more work I never got around to doing the craft I wanted to do so here these were hanging there and I'm like oh my gosh this is perfect so I I know I purchased two because the craft will take two of them but we'll see uh, chalk activity pack how cool is this for a kid like as part of a little summer package or a birthday gift but it is made by play school which is the brand and it has the little holders and another massive holder and chalk and I just thought how could you go wrong with this it's five sidewalk five sidewalk chalk sticks that's like a tongue twister three stencils two chalk holders and one chalk rake 
so they can do like a rainbow effect and stuff like that. I honestly, I thought that was a great, great value. I purchased this for my daughter because I saw it and I'm like, oh, she needs to have it. Summer vibes and she's like a really big girl lately, you know. She had her Zoom call meetings with her, well not Zoom call, uh, Google meets or, or classroom meets and I think she would see somebody else with like a cool cup or the teacher. So she'd come and ask me if I had, a, you know, a drinking cup or something so she was using my David's tea so when I saw this I thought oh my gosh this is so perfect I really hope they're not back on a virtual next year but it's her favorite color which is like this teal blue and then this iridescence it's not I don't know how to explain it maybe I'm saying it wrong but I think you're getting the vibes right this little bead tray for myself because I'm actually been working with some beads and I needed something so they weren't always rolling around off the this is really really cheapy it's not like a high quality thing at all, but you know what? It will do the trick. So there was that. I got another nail file for me because this thing is made by Diamond Cosmetics. It's the wide board grinder, but it is freaking fantastic for faux nails. If you guys know me, I am all about the faux nails. You need a good nail file if you want to save time and energy when you're doing those kinds of things. So I got some Duncan Hines Creamy Chocolate Frosting to go with. I found the Red Velvet Cake Mix, so I purchased it because that's one thing I haven't attempted to DIY myself. If anyone um, has, and if you have a, recommenda a recommendation for a great recipe, let me know down below. But um, I did cheat and bought a box of the Red Velvet Cake. And it's made by the Duncan Hines as well. Red Velvet Cake made with real cocoa. So there's that. And the kids wanted a chocolate frosting, although I will probably end up making a cream trees fresh homemade cream cheese frosting we um we picked up some of these maybe they'll like to make some cupcakes or something different this was also another awesome find faux leather let's open this up this is made by the crafter square line it's like you know all of the rage right now at dollar tree with all of the diy cutting machine supplies and this i thought oh my god like i mean it's not a lot in little faux earrings or anything really like a binding for a for me I I'm more into paper crafts so I immediately saw this as a binding or a cover for a junk journal or something really cute like that and they had other colors they had red black blue I think this this creamy white color I purchased these and I also purchased ah, there they are the square ones so there these are the farmhouse wooden beads freaking fantastic find too guys these are the square ones and then they also had the round ones now because these are going to make beautiful garland for the Christmas or for Valentine's or for Easter or for the fall of uh, a fireplace that you want to decorate a beautiful garland then you can do that across with some greenery very light minimalistic looks or you can be even making DIY little ornaments for your tree or you can use this as garland on your Christmas tree so on a mini tree on a big tree whatever it is anyways I highly recommend it. if you see it buy it because I guarantee you they're going to sell very very fast and I'm not sure if Dollar Tree is going to continue carrying them as a regular thing under the recollections item I got so lucky with this big giant pad they had a whole bunch of them piled up and I only bought the one I was really really good 180 sheets so they have all these beautiful prints and I might even cut it I'll get the scissors just so that I can cut the side there and then I might flip flip through it on the side actually I'm going to put it to the side so I will do that for you I was freaking out as much as I was when I got this I did I got so lucky with this. So I went into another Dollar Tree. This is not part of this haul. It happens to be separate. Uh, after I had found these and I asked, oh, do you have any? Because I thought maybe there'd be other patterns. So I asked the young lady who was working there and I said, you, did you happen to get any of the Recollections binders? She said, oh yeah, they're in the back room. And she comes out with a box and they weren't the minis. They were these massive binders. So here is a timeless large journal kit. And I'm like, oh my goodness, and I was so good and I only bought the one. <laughs> so good. I had so much self-control, but look at this. That's the difference in size. Like This is massive. This is not even your standard size binder. It's jumbo. 
So it's loaded with some stickers. It has the plastic sleeves so that you can make like they already come with the pre-made design. It comes with a, oh, wow, it comes with washi tape, striped washi tape. And oh my gosh, I didn't even notice it came with all of this stuff. It comes with some acetate paper, but it's like a little pocket style acetate. So there's the little pocket. And then, oh wow, there's another pocket with a little clasp with a string so that you can fill it up with goodies and memories. If you're into junk journaling, this is like another. And then it's loaded with scrapbook paper that's already pre-cut for your designs. So you can like then stick pictures or whatever you need. Gorgeous pocket, gorgeous. And it even has the strap here too. So if it gets quite bulky, you can then um, and oh, the front has a really nice pocket too. Oh, I love that. Doesn't this remind you of like the library days when you used to have to go, who's, who's as old as me? Back in the day, right? <laughs> we used to have to go into the index drawer at the library or the school library or the public library and go through the, you know, the index filing cabinet and pick out your book and then you'd have to sign out your book and you'd get your stamp. Oh my gosh, those were the days. Anyways, I was trying to explain that to my daughter just was like going over her head she's like mom didn't you have digital like didn't you have to ever have like a, a google meets with your classroom i'm like no kid we, we didn't have those things we did not have those things <clears throat> if school was canceled school was canceled right i got a mallet who needs a whacking who needs one <laughs> no i'm joking so um maybe maybe i'll bring it out i'll be like donkey kong with the kids no um Warning, safety goggles, user and bystander. Um, <laughs> I'm being silly. Okay, so this here I actually purchased to do some crafts around the craft room. Box of corrugated, corrugated, I think, I don't know, cards. When I saw this, this was, again, on the end cap with all of the mother load of all goodies. You have a DIY in mind. When I saw it, I immediately saw Christmas. So stay tuned because I promise you I will use these for a Christmas craft. All right. I bought this one and this one for my husband and for my sink. And I like that there's like a little division here. So your toothpaste can go on one and your brushes can go on the other side. Chalk markers. Um, glitter pens. I went a little overboard. Oh, just, just, a, just a little bit. But I was good because there was so many more things and I held off. So there was the embellishments. I bought this for, you know, when you have like a little get together and you want to label your food, especially display food. That's a different. Anyways, you get the gist. You want to label your food. Here's some labels. And these are the Recollections brand and they're cute. They're just like little, little rectangles. I actually went overboard. Look at this. I did. I didn't get two packages. This was in my head that I got two packages. I clearly didn't just get two packages. Look at this, I'm crazy. Metal tags, I had to have options because you know, we need to have options as crafters. There's the square one that I remember seeing in the store and clearly purchased. And then there's the other one with the pointier top. So in case one doesn't work out, then you know, I have to have the other option. This is the life of a crafter. I also bought the little chalkboards with the string here. I thought these were cute for putting around dispensers with the little thing. And maybe you make something that's uh, filled with fruits and somebody doesn't know if it's non-alcoholic or whatever. So what I wanted to do was just like write non-alcoholic and then hang it on the dispenser on the top of the, the bottleneck, I guess. It's chalk marker, uh, chalkboard markers and this one's a black and a black and a white and then look look at this chalk holder with chalk what in the loving what did i buy here like what is this one dispenser one sharpener and 14 refills 14 refills of what can i ask does anyone know what i bought it just looked like a very fun crafty gadget and of course we must not leave things when we see them at dollar tree and we might not ever find them again in the future got those wood chalkboard tags these are actually wood and they already have the pre-cut uh these are pocket frames 
don't ask because I don't even have the, the frames okay but because they have pretty paper I had to get it so they have some okay I'll go through it on the side hutch as well for you but they had like this really pretty yeah I'll go through it on the side hutch for you because I'm not open um pocket cards number line um it's got a shimmer a very beautiful shimmer page uh, pocket it's they, almost like a, a wedding very formal formal not just like a plain white it's got like a shimmer it's really pretty I'm gonna film it on the side too to give you guys a better look at that I purchased some more of these uh, envelopes no, not more of but I purchased more envelopes and cards because you know you can never have too many this one has a gold finish some and a silver and these are all glitter and then uh, a pink Pink, red, green, blue. Those are the cards options. Oh, there's only envelopes in here. Oh, I'm silly. I thought there were cards too in these. So there's no cards, which is great because I make my own cards. So there's strictly envelopes, which work out really well for me because I usually just make my own cards with white cardstock, etc. Oh, I bought some of this for my husband because he was asking me if I had Epsom salt. So there's some sore muscle soap options for him as well <laughs> original fragrance multi-surface chalk markers by recollections as well these are just the white ones and then i found these burlap bows which are so so cute they're like a cream color and just really pretty i bought some white cheddar for my daughter she loves this on her popcorn I bought ice cubes, icebreakers. This was a great find. So there was cinnamon and then there was black cherry. I actually opened the black cherry and left it in my vehicle, but they're the exact same style of ice cubes. There's 40 gums in a pack, easily $3.29 plus at Walmart. So this was a great find. And I got this for my son, Powerade. And I got a little, the, what are they called? Ice cube trays. But this one's the pineapple. So cute to make little molds and stuff. And I use the mold, modeling clay and then let it harden and then we paint them and we make little charms and stuff out of it. But that is my haul. Don't forget to visit topcashback.com. The link is down in the description below so that you can activate your, if you spend $25, they're giving you a $10 sign up bonus through the link down below for just shopping online and getting back some money. I absolutely love the program. I speak so highly of them, even when they're not sponsoring me. I talk about them and how wonderful their site is. Um, my daughter even knows sometimes to go on at first if we're shopping for snips. She's like, Mom, don't forget top cash back. And you can, you know, have the little extension automatic on your on your through the Google Chrome and stuff. So anyways, until next time everyone, I hope you're all doing well and thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, bye everyone.